The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, followed by 11 to 18. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and so the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. But Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept she bent over to the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and the one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary of Magdala went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Mary Magdalene was a person who loved Jesus. She loved him so much, she committed her life to him. And therefore, even when the apostles ran away from Jesus, when Jesus was arrested and was being taken to be tried, and later carrying the cross, going to Calvary, Mary of Magdala, she remained with Jesus till the end. With Mother Mary, she was with Jesus at the foot of the cross. And even when the apostles had deserted Jesus, Mary remained with Jesus. Early morning, she came to anoint the body of Jesus. And the body was taken away. She couldn't find the body. Jesus had risen from the dead by then. And she waited. She did not go away anywhere. She waited for Jesus. And Jesus, the risen Lord, appeared to her in a very personal way. When she was waiting for Jesus, weeping. Jesus came to her asking, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? And Jesus called her Mary. That's when Mary of Magdala recognized the presence of Jesus. And dear friends, when we love the Lord and we know 
the Lord will be there always for us. The Lord will come to us asking, why are you weeping? In the moments of our troubles, in the moments of our struggles, there is the Lord coming to us asking, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? All our experiences of life, and very especially our troubles and our struggles and our tears. In the midst of it all, the Lord will come to us asking us, why are you weeping? Revealing his loving face to us. Let us understand one thing. The very meaning of life, the very joy of living is to wait for Jesus at every moment. But the Lord will be there for us all the time in our troubles and our struggles. And she met Jesus in a very personal way. And Jesus asked her to go and tell the apostles about the resurrection. She becomes the first witness of the resurrection. And she becomes the first apostle to proclaim to the apostles that Jesus is risen. A great privilege the gospel gives to Mary of Magdala. You and I have this mission in life. When we experience Jesus as our consolation, as the abiding presence with us, in our troubles and struggles, when we experience Jesus as the comfort of our life, the Lord will give us the mission to go and proclaim this to others, the others who are sad, others who are sick, people in trouble, that Jesus will meet them in the midst of their tears and troubles. Let us take up this mission on this day this day of the Feast of St. Mary of Magdala, to become witnesses and apostles. Apostles to proclaim that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is not in the, in the tomb anymore. Jesus is risen from the dead. It is in the risen Lord that we believe, the Lord who will come to us in the moments of our troubles that great assurance and mission is given to us today on this feast day. Amen.